Okay, people wisely asked for problem 32 uh, from the from the chapter 4 homework. <clears throat> There's none so complicated on the test. Don't worry. Uh, but it's it's easy to half count or double count this. But they used to before like roadside service was so was so good. They used to put long chains uh, in addition to like a tire a jack to change the tires and other stuff along with a car. Okay, because so you have this rope or cable or chain that makes a triangle and they say Okay, there's a force pushing on it. What force would you have to exert perpendicular to the center? So this is actually our unknown force. Oh, the book says force perpendicular. Okay, it looks like force attention because I'm dyslexic. Okay. What force would you exert perpendicular to the rope to produce a force of 12,000 newtons on the car? Okay, so this one, I should have changed colors, is 12,000 newtons. And our angles here are the same. It's two degrees. Okay. Show explicitly how you follow the steps in problem solving strategy. Okay, and real rope stretch. What force would be exerted if the car angle increases to seven percent? They sure do. That's a lot of force. Okay. <clears throat> so 12,000 newtons is the force of tension in the rope. And what you need to do is concentrate on this point. So there's one point, one link in the chain, one atom, where the force of tension is pulled this way and this way. Okay, so the tension is trying to straighten the rope back out. That's what tension is. Uh, it wants to pull to a flat zero degrees right across there. So on that one dot, there's a force of tension of 12,000 each. It's making the very small angle with those triangles of two degrees but each one has a horizontal component. Okay, so the unknown force must actually be double. Your applied force, F perpendicular they're calling it, is two times the force of tension times the sine. See how those guys are opposite? sides, other opposite the angle, the sine of two degrees. And you can use the exact same formula if you have the seven degrees. Just plug in seven degrees. But there has to be a two there. Also, this example is worked out for a tightrope rope walker on page 148, I think, to 150, somewhere back in the chapter. Okay. So my applied force is, should be 24,000 times the sine of 2. Make sure in degrees sine of 2 is really small. So 837.6. 838 is fine. Newtons. Okay. And then what if it stretched and increased to 7 degrees? We'll just try sine of 7. And you still want 24,000. So 800 newtons is like 840, 84 kilograms. That's like 160 pounds. Sure. Okay, because, so, the tension, both 
the tension pulls in each direction at every single point, literally every single atom within the chain. Okay, but we've grabbed hold of one segment and are pushing it out. Therefore, we actually have to overcome twice the here vertical, as I've drawn it, component of the tension to make that bow. Right? You, because if you're in, if you are in the chain, if you're in the human chain and pulling, you're being pulled with that much from one side and that much from the other. If I let go of one side, so I have a towel in my hand for people online. If I let go of one side, I don't have tension. So if you think you have to overcome just one to make it do that, n no, you, it's two. You don't have any tension if you're not opposing. So you actually, you have to pull twice. The, and <clears throat> that's why they would use this. So you take, wrap a chain around the car, solid piece of the car and a tree and pull it taut and that multiplies your force at least by two <coughs> right your effective force and the angle multiplies it by a lot if you can pull it totally straight and then push sideways on the chain it will pull the car with tremendous force okay I don't throw this I love this example it's important to know with a tightrope walker or whatever the the <coughs> the force will be actually double what you think it is because you treat even though it's the same tension everywhere you treat it as two vectors right just this when we did a, a, a split block problem or the Atwood's machine problem we had the same problem there it is one force of tension along the rope but every piece of the rope is applying that force so it does go in both places it's like it occurs twice and look they occur in opposite directions okay so this is really this is the same force of tension we've always had but it has this new effect <coughs> This isn't on the test. You don't have to, or the, you don't have to understand it quite that well. But it would help. Okay. And then if you had twenty-four thousand times a sine of seven, it's going to be quite a bit more. You have to push harder. So I was going. Does that answer your question acceptably? Okay, think if you don't like imagining atoms, think of one link in a chain, and you're pushing with your hands on that link. It's being pulled by both sides. Okay, it does. It feels very, very hard to push it if you've ever if you ever try to push a chain under strain or under stress. Okay, seven. I think I'm disagreeing with the book. Let's read this carefully. What force would be exerted if the angle increases to 7 degrees? Oh, and you still... The angle increases to 7, and you still apply... Oh, so I apply my same force. This goes over there, cross that out, and find the force of tension. So I have to take my old answer, 838, careful, and divide by the sine of 7. Oh, they're sneaky. No, no, wait. That didn't make any sense. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That equals 2F. 2 times the force of tension. Which was 6,000, yeah, that's right. 6,800, we'll say 80. So your new force of tension would be 3,440 newtons for part B. Okay. Okay. So that is something I'm not above doing. We'll do the problems just like we did an example or a test review problem, but now I ask for something different. I'll ask for like the final speed or ask I ask for for the acceleration. Now I want the net force or something. Be ready to, if I take the same example, different numbers, if I take any missing piece and switch it around, now I tell you what that is, now I tell you what the coefficient of friction is, and you have to solve something else, be ready for that. Okay, but it's the same pictures, the same formulas. We've been over all of them at least once. And you get to try again today. Okay, any questions? Okay.